My country is a developing country. It's missing a lot of things like handicapped accessibility. I think my realization was when I went and worked in the shop where they make the prosthesis and I actually got to make my first prosthetic socket for a below the knee amputee. And that's when I started entertaining the idea of wanting to start a prosthetic clinic in Rwanda. Claudine started working in our group at the Media Lab, working on a project that involved developing a collaborative and educational platform for prosthetists as well as amputees and using Autodesk software to kind of inspire innovation in those spaces. She took a problem that she experiences every day as an amputee herself and actually devised her own project. I lost my leg at the age of 12 from cancer. I grew up seeing amputees around, but I never thought anything about it until I became an amputee. Claudine started working on this adjustable socket, which is an attachment between her residual limb and the prosthesis. For anyone in the field, they know that this is one of the most common points of pain and discomfort for amputees. So if the prosthetic socket doesn't feel comfortable, the amputee will not be able to use the rest of the prosthesis. We teach a class called Developing World Prosthetics. Well, Autodesk has been critical in, uh, in helping us uh, guide those students and teach those students exactly how to design things and how to use the software. I started making some sketches and then I went to my prosthetist to get a residual mold. I took about 90 overlapping pictures and then I uploaded those pictures into Rime that can turn 2D images into 3D meshes and Fusion 360 which allows you to make different changes to 3D meshes. In the future, I want to work with amputees in developing countries, especially Rwanda. I feel like Fusion 360 is going to be very useful in tackling different social impact challenges, especially for developing countries.